Hey nerd, like and subscribe in the next 6.9 seconds or this shin will wake up in your bed. I know I'm not taking any chances. So this mech, in fact, is not thick. It is very flat. <laughs> this Halo is deploying. It is, it is deploying very slowly. Why is Shin Godzilla holding a gun? I mean, not Shin Godzilla. What's up, guys? It's me, Cologne, Rat, Foxy, and Death. Uh, and today, we are going to be showcasing Death uh, Batchiel. So this, uh, I guess, build, per se, is from the hit anime, uh, Evangelion. So this is actually one of the angels. What what number angel is this, Death? Uh, the third, I'm pretty sure. So this is the third angel. So this mech might look very odd to you, uh, but that's for a reason. So this mech is supposed to kind of be, like, not from Earth, I guess. So this is not man-made in any sort. This is, like, I guess, from heaven? I don't know. I don't know. Where, where, where would you say this is from, Death? Uh, it was made by, uh, uh, the big man. <laughs> the big man. Adam. Yeah. It looks like some yeah. alien race or something. Yeah, so this yeah, is supposed there's to be some like, aliens that made him otherworldly I mean, or like alien, like you guys said. So that's why it has really odd proportions, like really long arms. I remember. Really I think in the, the I think in the design like process at the at the studio, they were like thinking that the angels were supposed to be like weird versions of humanity if they evolved without the um the fruit of knowledge from like the Bible. All right, and I guess with that. Background info out of the way, let's get straight into the aesthetic. So, as per usual, we start off with not the head! You got faked out! We're actually gonna start with the feet or the lack of toes their own. The feet! Oh my gosh. Uh so this mech sports really nice uh one move rotate or yeah, one move shaping rather than 0.5, which is the typical standard nowadays. Uh that is for I guess lag purposes, but there is also a mix of rotation and blocky. You can see uh, the legs are actually rotated here, but then they become straight again. And that brings us to the thighs. So this mech, in fact, is not thick. It is very flat. <laughs> there is like barely any curvature. Are you kidding me right now? Yes, this is, this not, is nice. not okay. Foxy is very disappointed. Okay, so this mech apparently also has gills. So I don't know if like the angels breathe or something, but within the anime itself, like these flaps, I guess, are shown. Uh, on the build, we didn't actually make them move because that, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. Moving on to the torso, a very odd shape. He has like a V taper back though, so you know he goes to the gym a lot. Here in the center, he has like this uh, central power core slash heart. So uh, in order to defeat the angels, uh, that's usually where you would target, I guess, because once you take this part out, boom, angels dead. Moving on, we have the head. So this head is pretty interesting. It looks to be inspired by like obviously like some sort of bird. It's what are those witch doctors? That's what they were called. Yeah, it, it looks like to always yeah. be inspired by a witch doctor and it has some like bones or whatever this material is protruding out of the body as well. And he has some very wide shoulders made of that like bone substance, I guess, again. And it is symmetrical. And he has an interesting this looks like a rib cage on, on his back. Like there's a little semblance of a spine right here. It looks like it's like folded up wings. Or it looks like folded up chicken wings. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the arms. Again, that very nice shaping, but here is, uh, we get a little bit of 0.5 likes on the back. Are they uh, armed with dynamite death or no? Uh, they are, they have spikes. Oh, they, yeah, so the spikes. These things stab and destroy. Yeah, so the spike blocks are armed with spikes. Very uh, interestingly shaped hands slash fingers slash claw. I don't know. Uh, these are jointed, correct? Yeah, they have joints and they grab and destroy. Oh my gosh, they grab and destroy. Giant angel claw that grabs and destroys. Insane. And I guess that concludes the uh, aesthetics. Let's move straight into the mechanics. Uh, all right, guys, we're back. Uh, so I was actually informed that I mispronounced the name. So instead of Satchel, it's actually Sakiel. So I'm now going to be referring to it as Sakiel for the rest of the video. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, so because of the way that Death built this mech, there's actually like little to no gaps in any of the joints whatsoever. So obviously there's a little bit of torso gap here, but that may just be like hinge glitches. But in most of the rest of the joints, there is actually no gaps whatsoever. Pretty cool. All right, now yeah. let's move straight into the mechanics. So the first mechanic that we have to showcase is the halo mechanic. So as an angel, obviously it has to have a halo. Let's deploy the halo deck. Oh, wow. His belly button, it turned red. It looks like there's a troll. It's troll. Oh, oh, came out of the belly button. Oh, his halo is deploying. It is it is deploying very slowly. But as you can see, 
There is a Better halo. late than never. Let me, let me turn on night mode. Oh, there it is. So yeah, as an angel, I guess this is like it's powered up or like it's powering up to make like a hack or something. Speaking I guess. of attack, let's show off the next mechanic. Uh, let's showcase uh the hands that grab and destroy. So as you can see, this hand has already grabbed Foxy. And yeah, so Death can lift the arms as well as like pinch his hands. Ow. Oh, and he can make that spike, as you see, that came from uh, his elbow. It out of his, uh, hand. I'm pretty hand. sure it's like uh, the forearm bone. Yeah, it, it is the forearm. And it killed, yeah, as you saw, it killed Foxy. Uh, and yeah, another neat thing it can do is it can like glow and extend itself. Now it even protrudes out of the elbow again. And both hands can actually do this. So this is like its form of like medium range. I believe in the anime it was a lot longer. Yeah, it was able to extend like to extreme speeds and hit a helicopter. So obviously with build a we have our limitations and one of those limitations just happens to be the length of the bone slash spike. It is not coming out. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh. <laughs> Or not. Okay, the spike, the spike finally <laughs> decided to come out. Okay. Because it's shorter. Next, we have another mechanic, the AT field. So it is essentially a giant shield that can like repel attacks. This mechanic, it takes a long time, and I mean a long time. We might speed up the footage as it is deploying, and we might also sound like Alvin and the Chipmunk. Oh, and... Oh, and the AT field is out. Yeah, so... Even though it might seem small in the actual anime, it's a, it's like, um, it's an entire it shield like a city block. the entire mech, but this is just like the point of contact. So yeah, it's supposed to protect from anything, but obviously again with build world limitations, but a smaller variant of it. Yeah, we can't exactly make this the size of the map. I mean, if you listen closely, you can hear that Death has added like some jets to like try to mitigate knockback. So we kind of added some of those features. It's also got like giant scaled bricks inside of it to block damage. All right, the AT yeah. field is now back inside. Oh, did you see it? And if you just notice, this thing also has a blinking a face, it will blink. All right, so we have retracted the AT field and the next mechanic we would like to showcase is that this thing actually has multiple faces. Oh, death, if you could go to twin face mode. Uh. Mm. Uh. It's a little scuffed. Mm. Almost there. Okay, cool. so, yeah, with the twin face mechanic, this old head is pushed away, and then this new head is formed uh, when this one gets damaged. Uh, and last but not least, we have the cross beam. And I guess this yeah, thing it's also. It's like has its like last a resort. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Giant beam. It extends very far, I will say. And it, it just keeps it's going, a huge man. cross. Oh, there we go. And the anime, Sakiel uses this to like hit even unit one and like basically wipe out a whole like city block. Yeah, so this. Or actually, many. Is very, very yeah, several city blocks. It like goes like across like a fourth of Tokyo 3. Alright, guys, and I guess with that, we're gonna wrap up the mechanic showcase and we're gonna get straight into the battles. Alright, guys, and we're back, and uh, now we have. Bakiel facing off against Cherno Alpha from the hit movie Pacific Rim. And it's also from our channel oh on the God. video with 100k views. Let's go watch that video right now. You know what? Not a bad idea. Maybe I'll just take a break for now. Matt, 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 gang. Um, Cherno Alpha showcase. There it is. Like and subscribe the next seconds for this shit. Man, I remember like editing this. No, so old. Kansas. Oh yeah, there's like these tiny little vents. No. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, Not this part. <laughs> All right. Get straight into the battle. All right, we have starting off. We have our spike straight towards Channel Alpha's face. Oh, that was a big explosion. Uh oh. I'm oh, and that. we even activated the laser too. I think boss just got launched out. <laughs> oh no, my forearm is gone. My forearm bone. Nakiel looks really happy right now. I think I want to change. He's so that. full oh, of joy. He's so happy. happy. Look, at Look at him. Don't don't ruin his day. He's so full of joy. Forearm attack once again. I think I'm gonna put the spike through your body again. All right. I'm not gonna open chat because there's a chance that he'll like actually dox me. Again. Oh my gosh! Huge damage to Cherno Alpha. And I'm gonna jump! Oh, and we are glitching in and out of existence right now. I'm just You're jumping. You're glitching? Because I'm glitching too. I'm glitching right now on my end. 
No, oh no, the debris in the face is stuck on the face and it's like phasing through the torso. Yeah. So it appears I'm, I've am i jumped a bit too high. I'm in the stars. A few moments later. Oh, maybe I'm gonna turn slightly right and put this through his chest. Honestly, I don't really agree with that. Turn maybe right don't punch my foot. arm off oh, no. of my butt. No! We're holding hands! Oh my god! No! Oh my god. I broke your hand! That's kinda that's kinda mean. I don't think you're supposed to like rip the hand off of your partner and rip out their forearm. Good morning! Come here, shake my hand. Why is his other arm dislocated or something? Uh oh. Oh my gosh, he's, he's deploying the AT field in Pratt. I'm gonna block! No, my forearm! Why is your foot backwards? I don't know. Oh, your foot is backwards. backwards. You're right. no, why is your eyes. arm backwards? Why is he weak? Why does he have my eyes? <laughs> Wait, why, do, why does he have eyes? Oh, yeah, he doesn't real. Alright, I call this punch God. round three. <laughs> Imagine the kneecap just like hits us and then flings us. To all you know, why does the kneecap have dynamite on it? Mm. So it appears that I've realized whose plot we're on. Ow! Oh my, my god, I, my seeds. So both sides of the battle, so both Cherno and Sakiel, have agreed on a draw because it seems like this battle has been inclusive. Because neither mech has any other means of fighting, so let's get straight into the next one. Alright guys, and we're back, and now we have Sakyo here, facing off against Ava Unit 1 and Ava Unit 0.5. This is totally not Shin. Totally not Shin Godzilla wearing an Ava Unit uh, head. Alright, alright, let's go, Death. What attack are we using first? Oh, Spike. We are the Ava family. <laughs> this is the Neon Genesis of Ava Unit. He was touching us with his tail. What the heck? What is his tail I'm biting, having though? violent seizures. Why is Shin Godzilla holding a gun? I mean, not Shin Godzilla. I mean, uh, oh, looks oh, like no. he killed Ava Unit 0. 0.5. He's firing his gun at the floor. <laughs> I don't remember Ava Unit He's 1 like... having a pistol. <laughs> Actually, Evangelion Unit 1 in the lore had a Desert Eagle. Mark 19. <laughs> yeah. We're back. Shinji, you have to defeat the angel. Shinji, get in the Shin Godzilla 2016 movie, Shin Godzilla. I'm oh. shooting you! Shinji's gonna oh, kill you! Oh, oh, oh. No! What happens if he hits no. the power core? Trick the core! Guess what? You can't stop me! I have my AT field! Oh my god, oh, yeah, you have to the AT field. Yeah, yeah. Motivation! You're the land of legend! There's no way! The no. AT field! He's gonna yeah, instantly pierce! Beam. He's gonna instantly pierce the AT field! Wait, no! The AT field! No! If a unit one has No, he actually did pierce the AT field. I don't know why Sakiel is so happy, but I guess he is. Full joy because he knows he's gonna win. <laughs> For slashing my back. This was not in the, the episode. This was in the episode number 54 of Evangelion. Your logic is absolutely useless. <laughs> it, is, it just dropped our AT field and that's it. Making a small hole. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, the spine laser are deploying. Oh no! I see big explosions. I see superheroes coming out of the body. Is <laughs> there. They're escaping. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, looks like oh my god! <laughs> oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. We're I taking did. some extreme course all around the world. I no! think Ava Unit 1 has been completely dismembered. And Satchel has also been erased <laughs> from existence. Oh. The angel right. has been defeated. Alright, I guess with that complete and utter destruction of both mechs, we're gonna end today's video off. Make sure to like and subscribe, share the video to your friends if you enjoyed it, and... Hello, guys. Oh.